the storm Here comes the storm What is up, Scar and I bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Crystal episode 26. In the last episode, we went to the final stretch of trainers and made it to Olivine City and kind of uh, farted around a little bit. We explored uh, nothing much to do, but we did get a call from Uncle Ralphie and that helped me remember some stuff that I didn't do in the past. But yeah, in this episode, we could go in the lighthouse and I did forget other things as well that. Um, from my last recording session, I'm doing a new one. I'm only gonna do like two or three this time around. But I forgot one Pokemon uh, bios that is, so I'm gonna do it right now. The Pokemon that I forgot to do in the roof above Olivine City is Meowth. Uh, Meowth, he, he has certain moves that can help you get extra money, which is payday, uh, which could be coming in handy just in case you spend a lot of money on potions and super potions or maybe uh, here's a thought maybe if you pay for like those proteins and uh, carbos and stuff like that it, it can help you that way but otherwise Meowth is a great attacker he's pretty quick but what's even quicker is when he evolves into level 28 to Persian Persian is so much faster uh, it gets better Generation 2 and up, not so much in Generation 1. However, they are versatile. And, um, I never use Meowth for Persian, but they are good and fast Pokemon. And other stuff that I forgot to do, because this, this is different. Um, I forgot to, uh, talk about certain Mega Pokemon and their evolutions, because at the time, the same video where I was at the bug catching contest. I forgot that um, Pinsir, or not, I didn't forget. It just happened at the same day while I was editing it. And the couple days before that, I was recording such. But now there's new Mega Pinsir and Mega Scizor. Now, Mega Pinsir, it looks like he turned more into a moth, which is, I don't know, I thought he was like a stag beetle of some kind. And Scizor just looks. Mega Scizor that is looks completely amazing. He just have chainsaws for his arms now. I can't talk much because you know I don't have Pokemon X or Y because I'm of the pores. There's other Mega Pokemon too though. There is Mega Heracross. He, I mean, I wanted Heracross to either have like a baby Pokemon or extra evolution or something because he doesn't evolve into anything. But now he does. And it looks incredible. I mean, I, I would like to use them. Another Pokemon is Mega Gyarados, which looks a bit odd to me. He looks more of a... I don't know. It, it's, it's He's weirdly shaped. He's more of a weird... He reminds me of a, of a CERN... I don't know. It's just a weird catfish-like thing. I guess a carp. Maybe that's what they were going for. And uh, there's two others like Mega Gengar. He looks completely amazing. I was, he looks like a Haunter mixed with the Gengar. He also reminds me of a, of a third generation Pokemon. You probably know who I'm talking about. And the last Mega Pokemon I'm going to talk about is Mega Alakazam. Who has the, a beard now and has extra spoons. Which, is, which makes sense because... I don't know how it, I can't really explain it, but it just seems right. Uh, those are the only Mega Pokemon I'm going to talk about because all the Pokemon are not from this generation and others I didn't do a bio of from their pre-evolutions, so I'll save those for later. So I'm pretty much finished with that and uh, let's go continue with the video because I haven't even done anything. Uh, Let's go on here because I also forgot this. This is what I was looking for. Olivine is on the sea. And if it's on the sea, there are bound to be fish. I fished, for, I fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and fish? 
Yeah, sure. Ah, aha, we have ourselves a new angler. Okay, well we got the good rod, which is an upgrade version of the old rod. We're not gonna get magic carp anymore. Uh, just with the old rod, because that's basically 100% of the time. So yeah, they go wherever there is water. Cool. Uh, hope you realize I have an old rod, so I'm not officially a new angler. Sorry if I'm talking a little low. It's because it's midnight, and I don't know if my roommates are asleep. But that's why I'm talking a little less, um, I don't know, maybe I'm perfect, maybe I'm talking perfect tone. Maybe I can't talk at all, who knows. Let's talk to uh, Nurse Joy, because I don't think I healed my Pokemon. <clears throat> and let's actually get on by going uh, to the lighthouse, because I need to go there. We hope to see you again. Oh, right, thank you, Nurse Joy. My timer, which is my, aka my phone, it's running out of battery. But my timer's working fine in my computer. <clears throat> Who are you? Hey, don't walk away, though. In the past, Pokemon used to light the sea around an olivine at night. The lighthouse was made in honor of those Pokemon. Well, that's cool. Alright, so let's continue to walk and face our first trainer. You're not a trainer. People train at this lighthouse. It's not easy to climb because of all the trainers. Hmm. There are five floors in this lighthouse. We must go on the very top to, uh, well, you'll see. And this, uh, this strip right here makes you fall back down to the first floor. So let's face our first trainer. Hmm. This is no place for playing. Hey. Why, sir, I resent that. But Gentleman Alfred wants to battle. And he sent out a Noctowl. Defensive flying type. I'm going to talk a little bit more loudly because I just stopped caring. <laughs> so let's tackle. I would Shadow Ball, but it's, it's flying slash normal type, so it wouldn't do a thing. Then again, I could Quick Attack. Hmm, foresight. Okay, well, I'm not a ghost, so okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna teach you a trick right here. You can press select uh, to move the, uh, a certain move around, and I'm gonna place it where a quick attack is, so you'll see that. Now that's a little bit awkward. I wanna move that there and move this here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't want that there. What the heck? I want this. Here. Dang it. That's whatever. Let's oh wait, why did I shadow ball? Uh, whatever, let's tackle. But yeah, that's a thing that was also in red, blue, and yellow. I didn't use it much as a kid. Uh I kind of found that out um messing around, I think. I don't really recall. But what I do recall, I do have a mint berry. Haha, -ha, I was prepared. Even though I, I wasn't thinking of Noctowl was going to use hypnosis, to be quite honest. But Noctowl is dead. The gentleman Alfred was defeated. Oh, I can see the more. That. Wait, what? Oh, I can see that you're serious. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you have to say? Oh top is a Pokemon that keeps the lighthouse lit, but I hear that it's sick now and can't be cured by ordinary medicine. You know, what the heck? Hiya, it's Uncle Ralph. What do you say to battle with- No, I battled you last time. Good, you're gonna do- I didn't know. For a kid, you're quite agreeable. No, I, I didn't say. Route 32 is the spot. You call your mom sometime too. I'm not gonna- Oh, he hung up. I'm not gonna battle him in this episode. Men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. I didn't even talk to the elder, or not the elder, the gentleman. That's kinda. But Sailor Huey wants to battle. Yeah, it's a polywag. 
Wait, is this episode 27? This, this is supposed to be the daytime. I'm not even supposed to be battling with... Uh, not, uh... I'm in the wrong time of day. <laughs> well, it's not a problem because I could just switch it to daytime. And besides, we're indoors anyway. It's my fault. I keep losing track of what episode it is. <clears throat> but as the, um... As the guy mentioned, he heard that there's a sick Pokemon at the top of the tower. For some reason, there's a lot of sick Pokemon in these past couple episodes, like the Mill Tank and Moo Moo's Farm, and now this Pokemon that's supposed to light the tower. Hmm. I don't know if it's a coincidence or if it was to do on purpose. I actually don't know. But what I do know is Eevee's in trouble right now. Okay, I'm gonna change the time of day right now. Eevee's level 25. Earth, I lose. And Eevee's already caught up anyway. So I'm gonna... It's Sunday... 4 a.m. That would be daytime. Same difference though, because we're indoors. But I still wanted to... Uh, let's... There's gonna be a lot of sailors. Let's give it to Blanca. Now let's heal. Uh, I'm gonna use berries because I don't wanna keep them anymore. Even though it's 10 HP, I just wanna use them all now. I just realized I forgot something. In this point, uh, before the lighthouse, you might want to put all your items in the PC because you're gonna get a lot of items. And I think that's all my... I think that's all my uh, berries here, so... Who's calling me now? Hello, it's me, Ellie. Hey, <laughs> I picked up something nice. <gasps> you got a... You can have it. Why don't you come to Route 36 and pick it up? I'm on my way, and you're gonna watch too. Actually, no. I'm. I'm. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to Alan right quick. Okay, I'm back, and here is Alan. This, this, this is yours. Ta-da! And we get a Firestone, which is awesome. Oh shoot! Kind of bumped my mic there. It, it got stuck on the little part of the chair. But yeah, we got a Firestone. It's able to evolve certain Fire-type Pokemon and one particular normal type. But we got the Firestone. I'll call you as soon as I find something. You can count on it. Oh, cool. Thanks. Uh, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Well, my phone died, so I don't have a timer. However, my, my recording timer is working fine now. My computer timer. I don't know why. I don't understand. But I, I guess whatever works. But I healed my Pokemon in the process, and I already battled with them. Cool, that's the first time I lost in a while. Hey, give me your phone number. You'd be fun to battle, so I'll call you when I get stronger. Uh, sure. Hey, your phone's already full, laddie. Shoot. Um... That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, who should I delete? I wish I could delete mm, these two. Because I don't want to call my mom. No. <laughs> uh, let's delete you. You already talked enough in like two episodes ago. In the same... Just, just no. You're gone. Alright, anyway. What now? Yeah, hello. Arnie's calling. What are you up to, Ryu? I bet your Pokemon are a lot stronger than before. I was wondering, do you happen to have a Pidgey? I can't seem to catch one. What is his weakness? I, I wonder. Pidgey's weakness? Let's say there's rock, ice, thunder. I think that's it. Yeah. Let's talk again, huh? Uh, let's not, please. Okay, now let me get your number. Uh, he just battles. He doesn't give you anything. He, it's, it's just a thing. 
But Huey's number, the reason I didn't delete the others is because I'm just waiting for them to call for what they're actually supposed to do. They haven't done it yet for whatever reason though. But this guy, I could practically guarantee this is the last train I'm gonna fight today. Why are you here? Are you just going to guac? I suggest that you leave. Whoa, sir, that is, that is rude. And I deserve an apology. <clears throat> Five Pokemon, so that's Bird Keeper Theo who wants to battle. Yeah, there's probably gonna be the last trainer for today. I think I spent like two minutes off screen, which I have to uh, edit out, so. Uh, I think I'm at 15 minutes, I believe. Or 14, well, whatever. Uh, but let's kill all these Pidgeys. <clears throat> and yeah, the super effective Pidgey is dead. And now there's another Pidgey right here. It's basically a whole team of Pidgeys and I think one Spiro, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> so there's no need for me to I'm, I am kind of tired of them surviving my Thundershock though just die to Pichu actually yeah let's let's Thundershock you again because you're low on speed and I could easily take you out <clears throat> okay so this next Pidgey I'm gonna heal before I do anything because I don't want Pichu to die anymore because Pichu always dies I notice let's see how much damage it does don't crit really that's how much ah, curse Pichu defenses and health my god stop quick attacking where's the super potion wouldn't that be wasting it though Where's the super potion? Did I use it? Okay. Um. Okay, let's use another potion. I don't want to use Moomoo's milk quite yet. Stop hurting it. Well, at least it's doing less damage. I don't know if I talked about it, but then there's maximum damage and... Just like that, that's maximum damage. Sometimes you'll notice, and it died. Shoot, I'm sorry, Pichu. You know what I should have done? I should have switched. Anyway, let's go to El Fuerte. Um, let's just headbutt. For now on, I decree that Pichu will no longer die until that evolves. That is what I'm gonna say because. Pichu, I'm sorry I've been lacking on that part where I couldn't save you. You will be avenged, I, I promise. However, I can't keep that promise if there's crits on you. <clears throat> but, uh, here's a fourth Pidgey. At least we could evolve, or not evolve, we could level up Togepi. Level 15 Pidgey, uh, the, are they all not the same level? Because I know that there are, some of them are different, but are all of them different? Like, I mean, is there two alike that's like level 19 or something? Or are they all like scattered? Oh, I thought he had a Spearow. I guess I was wrong. Anyway, this is the last Pidgey here. Okay, never mind. That answered my question. Pidgey, um... It's level 15. That's the last one I, the, the one before I killed was level 15 as well. So that answered my question. <clears throat> so that is all the trainers for today. And I am level 24, and that's good. Bead, uh, oh, bead. Bird Keeper Theo was defeated though. You really are concerned. Concerned about what? Anyway, um, yeah, that's it for this episode. So in the next episode, we're going to continue upward in the lighthouse and hopefully get done with it. So, white tigers and dragons to you.